I made a community post asking if there are any Plave enjoyers in the house and someone left a comment saying that they know of them but they don't know who they are so they wanted me to make a video and this video is not like an introductory thing by any means. It is definitely intended for people who already like Plave and just want to hear someone ramble and gush over one of their favorite things because they're discovering it for the first time. I know that's like a very specific genre, but it's one I enjoy. But if you are new to play and you want to learn, I highly recommend this video. This is the one that I watched that clicked the most for me. But if you want a really quick Sparks Notes TLDW, there are five members, Noah, Yejun, Bambi, Unha, and Hamin. They're a group of five friends who formed this together. I don't know how they're related to the tech organization that like deals with their 3d models or the 3d modelers i don't know how like that happened but allegedly there are five friends that came together and formed this group they sing and dance good oh yeah they're not ai they're live track it's not pre-recorded all that stuff it's basically vtubers it's, it's, they're basically vtubers my brain doesn't want to acknowledge that because i'm not really a fan of vtubers but for simplicity's sake yeah pretty much I just can't stop imagining that they're wearing those like black suits with the dots on it. I just think that's really funny. I'll hopefully remember to link this video in the description, but if you already know about Play, then you want to hear my initial thoughts after hearing the songs. That's what this video is, but yeah. <laughs> Warning, I am very loud in this video. I do not know who I'm yelling at, truthfully. So if you hate happy people who are loud when they're excited, I'd suggest turning away. I filmed a video where I tried to recount my journey as a plays enjoyer, but I have no sense of time. It was all over the place and TBH did not feel like editing that. So instead, I just wanted to come here and say, hi, I've given in. The song of theirs that got me to be like, okay, maybe something's here. The sixth summer, I have such a hard time saying that and I feel like it's mean. That was not Aaron's mouth friendly and I don't appreciate it. I thought what I could document, because it would be happening in the moment, is me listening to every single play of song and sharing my thoughts after listening to them. So like I said, I've heard Sixth Summer and I've heard Way for Love. All I'll say on that is one of those songs won and the one that won, I don't think deserved it. You know when I watched Sixth Summer, the subtitles were on there. So hopefully all the music videos have subtitles and I don't have to look up lyric videos to figure out what the song is about. Because as much as, you know, musicality is important, maybe Way For Love has lyrics that'll make me feel things and like it in that way. But yeah, I'm gonna try to listen to them in order and then just give my little thought of Roonies. Luckily, there's literally a website called K Profiles and it allegedly has their discography in order. So I'm gonna go through that. Asterum first single album. It's been a while since I've really been into K-pop, but they're using words I don't understand. A single album? There's two songs on this. Is Pixel World not a song? Because Only Wait For You has an instrumental. I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna look it up on Google, but first song is Wait For You. Okay, I've actually heard this song before. <laughs> okay, I. you know what? I'm only 38 seconds in. I really wanted to sit and listen to the entire thing in one setting. Probably not gonna happen. First of all, the opening instrumental is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And when the piano like went lower, I don't know if that makes any sense, but ooh, ooh, I love it. I'm gonna shut up. I love it so far. So far, I love it. Once again, 38 seconds in. Also, the music video is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, moving on, moving on. <laughs> Okay, I got so lost in how beautiful everyone sounded that I totally forgot that there were no subtitles. Editing error and update. Apparently there were subtitles for every single one. The computer just has CC highlighted, so I assumed that, oh, there's nothing there. But no, if I clicked it again, there are subtitles, so great. Many hours later, so it doesn't even matter anymore. Just hearing it, I feel a lot of feelings. And I know this is making it a good viewing experience. I don't know how to articulate them. I just have a lot of feelings. Oh my gosh, their voices. So I'm gonna go look up a lyric video that hopefully has a translation because I am monolingual, y'all. Definitely getting added to my listen to while I draw playlist. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. As if my feelings weren't hurt enough. Oh, okay, listen. I'm a sucker for a post breakup song. What can I say? What can I say? Ooh. Okay. I low key wish I like was reading the lyrics. You could like hear all of my mmms as I'm reading it. But I also feel like it's like really impactful to like hear how they say the lines. Like, yeah, I say, I don't miss you. Your birthday's just any other day. I'm lying. <laughs> it's, it, it's sweet. Um, TBH, I'm just saying, if I ever were to break up with someone, I hope they think about me like this. <laughs> like, this is, it feels mean being like, oh my gosh, you want to like haunt their dreams? Yes. I want to be so amazed if you think about me every day of your life. When you get a new girlfriend, move on, please. Like, I don't need her to get hurt in the crossfire. But until then, every day be like, I'll never let you go again. Ooh, I fumbled the bag. Cause you did. Love I wait. I'll wait, wait, wait for you. Said it wrong two times, slay. But the song was wait for you. Me likey. Let me go see if Pixel World is a song. Cause I just realized it might be just like a weird, um, I don't even know. Dude, like a video, let's see. Pixel World. Okay, I see Pixel World lyrics. So it is a song. Okay, it's a song. Okay. I'm gonna go listen to that now. I was gonna start watching the official lyric video and as adorable as those visuals are, I'm not sitting through it twice. So I'm just pulling up a lyric vid, but I did want to acknowledge, I thought it was really cute. The way the speech bubbles go to who's singing, iconic. But I, I, I don't want to listen to everything two times, you know? I mean, I probably will listen to them more than two times in my own time, but for, video creation purposes and silly goofies just once is fine i think when it comes to ranking i might go back and forth just to make sure but what oh, did i spoil it i'll leave it in i think that's silly give something to look forward for like why is this video so long i don't know keep watching it Ooh. the raps oh oh my gosh okay this song it's so fun oh it's so fun and bambi I think I need to drop some lore, a little context. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you might know that I have a bit of a fondness for Noah and Yejun. No hate to them. The way they were kind of in the background for me in this song. Bambi, Unho, and Hanmin. Hanmin? I don't know why I keep wanting to call him Hanmin. This is just Hanmin. Stole the show for me. Like, this is their song. Great. Loved it. I love the raps. This, this song makes me want to, like, move, if that makes any sense. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I don't know if I'd add it to my listen to while I'm drawing playlist, but it's definitely getting added to my liked songs. Also, I just realized I didn't talk about the lyrics of Pixel World. They were cute. I didn't feel anything like crazy. I'm like, oh, this is a nice song. That was it. The next first digital single slash pre-release single. Why? This single actually has one song. Okay, so the next one I'm listening to is Why. <laughs> I was not expecting Bro to swear. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh, I'm like, ooh, this is so fun. And the bleep, the way my head whipped around. I'm so sorry. What does it mean? You'll be my Rolex? Okay, girly pop, this is so unorganized. It's okay, you have pretty art in the background. Look at it, look at it, you look at it. That was a cute song. I really liked, mm. yeah, Jun's voice is just so sweet. Throughout the entire thing, it's so cute. His little, nope. Nope, I love that. I love it. I'm obsessed with that part. Hamid's voice is so deep in this. And I don't know if it's just accentuated because the instrumental is like just so calm and then he comes like, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> but I liked it. A lot of the lyrics, it kind of just felt like they each individually wrote a verse and they just put it together, which also eats. Like it's, I just think it's a very silly, goofy song. Doesn't really give me much to think about lyric wise, which is fine. I don't think every song needs to be evermore, but it was a cute song. I liked it. Next on the website is Asterum, The Shape of Things to Come, first mini album. So Y is also on there. Um, the Sixth Summer, <laughs> I Just Love Ya, Dear, P L L I. And some song demo that's on the CD only, so I'm not gonna try to find that. Even though I have listened to The Sixth Summer, it's been a while since I've seen the lyrics, so I'm not gonna sit through the music video again, but I will read the lyrics. Cause I remember really liking them, but I couldn't 
really remember what it was about, so it'll be good for me to document that for my future purposes. So, obviously, you can't see my face. <sighs> okay, uh, the way I'm really questioning if I ever read the lyrics before, if my brain like just did not process what was actually being said, is this the OnStar's time loop? Weird crossover, I know. But, um, ouchie? That's why it's called? That's crazy. I hope they don't have lore. If they have lore, I'm gonna have to start, like, I don't know, man. Something drastic. Yeah, I really, I like that. I already loved how this, how the song sounded. Like, it's just very emotional. And then added with, hopefully, me remembering what they're actually saying. Like, oh my gosh. I feel like I'm not really saying anything because I don't, I feel like I just can't do it justice. But like, look up the lyrics, um, preferably while listening to them. Ow, it makes their beautiful high notes at the end go from, oh, that's so pretty, to just devastation. Ow, <laughs> ow, okay. Whew. Next is I Just Love Ya. Ooh, what a cute song oh the parts where they all sing together phenomenal oh my heart but oh my gosh Hobbins last could you be my star always at the very end oh they ate that up oh they ate that up this song is just adorable it's so stinking cute like oh oh that's, that's so sweet I love this song this is a cutie patootie I love it next is dear PLLI I'm gonna admit it, this is probably cheating. I don't wanna finish this one, not gonna lie. It's it's not bad, it's just compared to the others, kind of boring. Like I don't really care. The lyrics are just, oh, you know, typical fan service. Like I'm just not into that. So moving on. <laughs> Next is Mary. Okay, so clearly this is supposed to be something. Mary Plea is, I think that's what they were saying. Mary pleased must. Guess I'll listen to it. <laughs> These guys are gonna have me listening to Christmas music in the middle of spring. Oh my gosh. Every single member sounds so incredible in this song. Like I did not have any time to rest with how my ears were just being filled with beauty. Not to say the other songs had most blah, 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 but it was just like a constant 100 of just, ooh, this is incredible, you know? Like, oh my gosh. I'm like trying to like keep track of my rankings as I go and mild spoilers, this one just shot up to number two, but honestly, I might, it might be sixth summer. I'm not gonna lie. I'll listen to them again, like back to back and be like, is this the truth, Ellen? But oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like, especially the parts where they were like, like they're singing together right but then like one would drop out so one could just sing a single line and then they'd go back and then the other one like finishes like ooh, it, it was so good so good such an incredible song like oh my gosh and also like the lyrics are really sweet too like it has a poetic nature to it where it's like if someone were to sing this to me i would be like oh that's how you feel about me like it's so cute like, oh, it's snowing. I hope you come. Like, it's so cute. It's so cute. Mm. Okay, I'm just a broken record now, but does she like the song? Ooh, I wonder. Next is Asterum 134-1, second mini album. So first is Watch Me Woo. Okay. I have to take a moment and talk about my man Noah, right? Um, his voice in The Sixth Summer stood out the most to me, so that's probably why my brain is just clasping on him for dear life. Oh my gosh. The way he opens the song, the photo isn't helping. He, ooh, he looks so fine. Arrows are polygons. Don't talk to me. It's great. It's getting expensive. I love it. His voice is incredible. This is great. I love it here. Okay, okay, listen, listen. I don't know how to articulate this without feeling like an absolute mad woman. But ooh, that song. Ooh, it eats. It eats. It's so good. It went so high. I have to change everything around again. I really should be writing this on my whiteboard, like truthfully, because I'm just like, there's only so much space for me to like cross out and change the number. But I don't want to forget because there's so many now. 
everyone sounded so good. The instrumental, ooh, was I hobbling around in my little comfy chair. Oh, they sounded incredible. This song made me go, oh, these are men. These are men and they're feeling themselves and they should. This song makes me feel incredible. You know, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's just, ooh, lyrically, I don't know what they're talking about. I read them and I was like, what did this have to do with the previous stanza? I don't know. Is there a message? Who cares? I could probably hyperanalyze it. Don't feel like it. Um, I love it. Love it. Love it. It's so, ooh, it's so good. I love it. Honestly, I might listen to it again. <laughs> okay, next is Way for Love. I think I mentioned this at the beginning. It's been a while since I started filming. So, mm. but I will say that when I first heard it, I like watched them perform it. And I was just like, the song was just underwhelming compared to the sixth summer. So I don't know. I think I'm just bitter because sixth summer didn't win anything because people were saying way for love was their first win. It's like, how come this one? And then that did it. And I do know it's a case of like, you know, what songs are released being performed at the same time because that'll like affect what wins and stuff like that. But still, you should use your ears. But I'll listen to it again. I'll read the lyrics and see if my feelings are the same. Okay. When I'm not being bitter and constantly comparing it to a masterpiece, I don't hate it. I think it's fun. I'm not a huge fan of the chorus, like the way for love, way for your love, like over and over again. I'm kind of like, okay other words please it's fine it's, it's really fine uh my favorite part of this song was definitely Hamin's like raps like the what is it the flow the the whatever the way he like his raps were just cool they were very like oh that's different in like a really good way like it's interesting to listen to I think what might have been my issue with this other than me being bitter <laughs> was there's like just a lot going on like the instrumental is kind of just generic it's fine but then like vocally a lot's kind of happening but then also not because you have Haman coming and going like, da, 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 kind of going against the beat which I love and then you have Bambi coming out here being a vocal legend and then you have Noah just way for love way for your love and I'm like where did this come from still not my favorite but I don't hate it I don't think I ever like hated hated it but it's fine. I I really don't know how it's winning compared to like other songs I know recently came out. Maybe I'm not actually aware of like what was on the shows they're competing against, but I don't know, man. I'm gonna just sit this one out, I think. Next is Virtual Idol. <laughs> um, um, whoa. <laughs> First of all, I love when there's just talky parts in songs. I love that, that's so cute. But yeah, Jin's voice. <laughs> like, I've been low-key thinking this this entire time, but I don't know why I didn't say it honestly. But like all of Yejun's parts, except for like the song really emotional, I feel like it extra gets to shine. But other than that, his parts are normally chill and like cutesy. I don't know if cutesy is like the right word, but it's just like it's very pleasant to hear, very sweet on the ears. But his Ooh, wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting just felt like sharing, continuing. <laughs> Once again. Oh, the flu. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, his voice. Like, if I had listened to this with no color coded lyrics, I would have never thought it was him. I'd probably be so confused. Like, wait, who's singing that? Wow. This. Okay. So, you know how I was like, way for love. I love how Hamin is just kind of doing whatever he wants during his raps. This entire song, just that. Oh, it's so fun. It's the instrumental is fun and bouncy. I don't think that's the right word, but it's just so fun, dude. And then the way they deliver their lines. Ooh, ooh, that's so good. <sighs> Once again, rearranging my list, trying to figure out, okay, like out of the top songs, like which one do I like it more than? I also felt so called out because they're like, you're going to ask what my name is and become a fan. They're a little too self-aware. I loved that one. That was so fun. Next is From. So. I really should have known I was going to be in for it when I heard the piano. <laughs> that made me want to cry. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, hurting my feelings. 
a lot. That song was beautiful. <laughs> that song was beautiful. Um, I don't know where to rank it because, like, I feel like really emotionally attached. It's not just like, oh, that's a that's a cute story, or like, oh, that's like a cute sentiment. This is like, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, what if I just put it in honorable mention? Because I can't. I'm gonna put it in HR. Why did I say HR? That's not honorable mentions. HM. There we go. Honorable mention. It gets its own rank. It just, I don't know. I feel sad putting it like against the other ones. I'm kind of just like, ooh, the vibes are great. This one is just all around. Like, ouch. Maybe that means it's number one. I don't know. I'll think about it later. I'll think about it later. Okay. On to the last one, which is our movie. Yippee! I don't remember what the song sounds like and I'm too lazy to look it up. Yippee. Yeah, I needed that. Um, Cute song. Gosh, I feel like From just ruined my whole day. <gasps> I mean, thank goodness it's what? An hour till midnight. Don't tell me to go to bed. You wouldn't have this if I went to bed. <sighs> um, Really cute. I really liked our movie. Very silly. I really like at the end they have like, you know, some members leading it and then everyone's like just in the background, which I think is really sweet and cute and fun. Really like it. And the whole like, this is our movie. Even if it ends, it's not over. Land before time. Jenny Nicholson, I miss you. I'm now going to spend too much time trying to rank these. So let me go do that, I guess. Don't tell anyone this, but as I was editing this video, I actually went back and reorganized my ranking again. So here we go. Oh, I forgot to number them. Gosh, hold on. Our honorable mention, aka the song I feel bad ranking, so it's in a league of its own, is from Yippee. Going into actual from bottom to top. In 11th place, we have Dear Plea. If you want to disregard that because I didn't listen to the full song, go for it. I wouldn't blame you. In 10th, we have Way for Love. In 9th, Why. 8th, Our Movie. 7th, I Just Love Ya. 6th, Virtual Idol. 5th, Pixel World. 4th, Wait For You. 3th, The Sixth Summer. 2 Watch Me Woo. And 1 Mary Pleasemus. That's just my opinion. It is subject to change as this video is getting uploaded to the internet. Who knows, right? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What's your favorite play of song? Feel free to leave it in the comments and I will use my eyeballs to look at it. Thanks for watching.